And, and can you can you reflect on uh, a little bit maybe on how it was that I mean here you were this uh, this fifteen year, year old kid walking the streets of Memphis dreaming to be among the Charlie Lewis and Elvis Presley your heroes, and there here you are uh, close to a, a half a century later you, you're you're recording in Sun Studios with the killer himself on the piano right there. Well, so. you know, I kept thinking about that. I I remembered walking in that same door as a kid looking for a break and meeting Mr. Sam Phillips and seeing Roy Orbison and Charlie Rich and Jerry Lee Lewis record in those places. And then all of a sudden to be there recording with him was, I had to keep pinching myself. It was, I still have trouble believing that it actually happened. And it just goes to show you in life that, that if you, if you dream big and you think big, you can do big. If you think small, it, it winds up being small. And I've always been a big dreamer and, uh, I've always believed, as I said earlier a couple of times, the power of positive thinking, of of, of dreaming and, 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 and believing in what you do. And, and lo and behold, I think you get the, the opportunity in life to do those things. might not have been as big as you'd wanted, but at least you get. I think you get a chance at it. And uh, I had a chance to do it that day, and I, I took it all in. It was a magical day. And another another track that really stuck out for me on the album was one that you recorded uh, a electronic duet with Conway Twitty. We talked about Conway earlier, and you're in a, a, both of your connections to him. And so, uh, what? How, how did you decide to uh, to want to do that? Because it must it seems to me that it would be kind of difficult to acquire the rights to use Conway's voice off of the original master. Well, I came from Kelly. Kelly can tell you that story. That because of her connections with the family and the estate, uh, Kelly, if you want to talk about it, you can how you did it. Well, it is not easy. Uh, there's a lot of legality that we had to go through a lot of hoops. But you know, um, I do consider, and I'm, I guess I am considered still a part of that family, and a uh, lot of lot of history and a lot of memories with them. And I know that they trust me and. Um, you know, they they actually gave me a lot of footage for a song that I wrote in honor of Conway called Goodbye Darling. And well, we heard that, sorry to interrupt, but we heard that right after I played the track uh, Why Me, Lord, earlier, so I was going to ask actually ask you about that uh, right after we yeah, talked about this, so, so take it they away. They were very generous with the footage for that, and, and I figured if they were okay with that, we could at least ask. I, I figure that the answer is always no until you ask. Sure. <laughs> So, um, you know, again, jumping through legal hoops, but it, it does it does uh, make a big difference to to be part of that family, uh, to be able to attain those kind of rights, because they don't just hand them out to anyone. But um, I, I just thought their voices blend, blended well together. That song was always so special to me as a kid, watching Conway sing on the, the side of the stage. And I just felt that uh, it'd be a blessing to, to hear my one or two of my favorite artists and voices together and, and it, i think it worked really well so uh, i mean it definitely did a little at least in my opinion it did i think anyone would think so who's heard it but uh did you uh so you if i understand it correctly you you got the master and you took his voice off of there and then you put it on a new new recording track with with musicians updated and then you did your part tg right yes we actually we actually uh nothing was touched with conway's voice because he, he, we, we just couldn't allow that. We had to... <clears throat> Conway is so... <clears throat> there's a... Uh, that there's just something you never do. You don't you don't mess with vocals that have already been down that an artist has sang. Uh, they were happy with the way they did it, and I wanted it to remain that way, and so did Kelly. Uh, Kelly and I co-produced the album together with Danny Deontay, and uh, we, we, we built a more updated track uh, because we had trouble with the tr the masters were so old that we were having trouble with some of the musical parts of the track wasn't all there. So we had to come back in and re-record. But thank God the vocal track was all there in its entirety. And so we were able to, to put uh, his actual vocal back on a new track and more updated track. And uh, it, it it was just it, it was a miracle. It was that a miracle seems that like it even worked. But it, it it just everything had to be like a, a puzzle. It all had to fit just perfect to make it work, and it did. It was just meant to be. Well, modern I, technology. I, well, I was going to say that they they do it. It's probably a little easier today than 
when Hank Jr. was first trying to do that duet, Tear in My Beer, earlier. Oh, yeah. But yeah, because they, they now have the track and you record vocals and they mix it together if you're with a living artist. But still, because you had to get it just fit to the right speed that Conway was singing it, his voice, I right. think it would be kind of difficult. Yeah. Well, it just, it, just, it just happened. It just was supposed to happen. And it, and it did. It all worked the way it's supposed to, and it came out. I was very, very proud. I, it was very eerie to be in the studio recording that song, uh, my vocal, and singing along with Conway. It just really, but, it, was, it was very emotional. But Conway, I knew for a fact, loved TG. So I think he would have been very pleased by that. We felt his presence there when you were recording it. And I yes, thought we it was, did. It was a very sweet moment and and uh goodbye darling that that's just a a really really touching tribute very very uh classily done you even have i i love the the tagline on it at the end where where you say i'm lying here with conway on my mind <laughs> and then you have his voice say hello darling at the end of it there that was so so uh, what in i mean obviously it was conway's death and you were close to him that was part of the inspiration but what, what made you want to put it right down on paper i mean how did it come to you like that well, T.G. and I were dating. He lived in East Tennessee at the time, and I was living in Middle Tennessee. And uh, we would meet halfway and have dinner and go to a movie, and then we would go our separate ways for a few days till we could see each other again. And at that particular dinner, we were talking about memories and Conway and music and Conway and concerts and Conway, and it was just like on my mind. And so on the drive back home... Linda on my uh, mind. Yeah, exactly. Uh, on the drive back home, I the melody for this song just kind of started coming to me, and I just could not stop thinking about it, and I thought, oh my goodness, if I don't have a pen and a paper to write this down, I'll forget it. So I pulled off the side of the interstate, and I didn't have anything to write with or on, so I grabbed a napkin and a lip liner, and <laughs> I just penned the whole song as I sat there on the side of the interstate. And I booked a session to record it the next morning and gave it to the family as a gift. And I really never expected anything to come from that, you know. And uh, lo and behold, a, a new label in town found it and got a hold of it and released the single and released a new video for me. And, and uh, you know, it's just kind of, like I said earlier, stepping stones. I didn't realize that that dinner would turn into anything that would be world worldwide accepted, but... Right after that, I started um, getting uh, requests to sing in Switzerland and and do some projects, you know, here or there with other writers. And I thought, wow, this is so. This is the way it works. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's been posted a couple different times on YouTube. I think one of those versions is is one that you actually uploaded. But if you've ever looked at the comments on it, it's just Conway fans. They love it. And yeah, Conway fans are just super, and, and they don't go away. And I think they keep getting stronger and more supportive. And you know, we just did a show um, a couple of weeks ago at L Loretta Lynn Dude Ranch, and she was doing a whole entire concert honoring Conway. And they asked me to come out and do that song. I tell you, oh my goodness, it was so intimidating because she sat on the stage. Yeah, she sits right in the center of the stage. I've seen it. There's actually it was, a clip of it on YouTube for those of you who want to look it up. It was horrifying. I was absolutely horrified. Like, why on earth would that make me nervous? But it certainly did. And uh, I've known her forever, but it just for her to sit there and watch you sing something about her friend, is it was the most intimidated I've ever been in my life. But <laughs> it, what an honor, you know. Well, I, I uh, we're getting a little low on time here. I mean, I could talk to you guys for, for hours here, but just both so interesting. But I wanted to, this will sort of set us up for next week because I know you you said, TG, that you recorded a song with B.J. Thomas for this album, and B.J. will actually be on the program, I guess, next week. So I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that song, sort of set us up. Well, Kelly and I sat down one day and wrote 100% Chance of Pain, and... Um it was just, an, uh, just uh, we, we from time to time will sit down and write. We don't write as much as we should or as much as we used to, but occasionally an idea will come. And that day it just kind of happened, and I was looking for, uh, for a song. And, of course, uh, matching vocals with, uh, with people for duets is very difficult, and especially when you've got great, incredible singers like B.J. Thomas. And then you've got Jimmy Fortune, 
of the Statler brothers. One of the greatest singers ever with the Statler brothers. 